Steve again and I'm back again for yet another video review and today we got the Maxino 1303 48k motor so I've been wanting to test this motor out for a little bit now and I've have been on uh, flying it for about a week or so now with these two props and these are the two props that are currently available uh, with a two millimeter shaft so both of these are gym fan props uh, one's a 3018 and one's a 3016 um, both very very good props to use uh, I, I highly recommend them but if you're not you know wanting to use something like you know the gym fan and you want to use an HQ something like this that has a 1.5 millimeter shaft you're gonna have to get a drill a two millimeter drill and you know drill it out so that uh, you can drop this into the motor and um, you're gonna have to use screws I'm not sure the exact size of a drill a bit you're gonna need to uh, get these to press fit on a motor like this so you, know, you may have to do some research or so uh, if you want to do that but um, other than that the motor uh, runs very very smooth uh, the two millimeter shaft goes all the way down to the bottom of the motor so uh, I really like uh, the design of it uh, really low profile uh, it runs very very smooth extremely smooth uh, it doesn't get hot at all uh, I really uh, uh, pushed it uh, to its limits and uh, I couldn't get these motors to get hot at all and I'm running a uh, 553s battery I was really surprised about the weight of this motor this motor is coming in at about 5.85 grams and uh, I thought it was gonna be about the same weight as my GIF RC 1105 uh, 5k motor but it was actually a little bit lighter uh, my 1105 motor is coming in at about 5.9 grams so this 1303 is uh, slightly slightly lighter. Also, I've been messing with uh, Betaflight 4.1, and I have to say, uh, it, it's running really good. Uh, 3.5.7, I stuck with 3.5.7 all last year because you know uh, it just worked. You know, and you know 4.0 uh, just kind of sucked. It, it wasn't reliable, uh, especially for micros. Uh, a lot of people are getting flyaways and all that stuff, but uh, 4.1, I haven't got any flyaways or any of that, and um, I feel like it, it handles prop wash a little bit better, uh, you know, when messing with the filters. Uh, I was getting a little bit of uh, bobbles and a little bit of prop wash coming out of uh, split S turns and power loops, but uh, I haven't tried any RPM filtering on this particular build, but I did mess with the filtering uh on bedded flight and i went up to 1.3 and uh, i wasn't having any issues uh then i you know wasn't getting any hot motors or anything like that so i went up to 1.4 and you know that's when i got that uh warning from beta flight talking about flyaways and you know potentially damaging motors so uh, i just left it at uh, 1.3 and uh even at 1.2 you know it got rid of the prop wash and all that stuff so the prop wash you know got a little bit better and I wasn't really having that issue as much uh, only if I get a lot of wind you know into my flying if it's really windy I'll get a slight uh, bit of prop wash but it's not really bad at all and I can fly around it but for the most part you know 4.1 has been working uh, really nice I want to show y'all guys a couple of clips of the motor spinning up so you see they run very very smooth they're almost silent so very very smooth motors Motor here goes another clip with the props off Motor 
So let's go outside and dive into some flight footage. So we are back with no flight footage. I have no DVR to show y'all because it got corrupted. And uh, as you can see here, I've had a pretty bad crash to the pavement. It was about a 30 to 50 foot crash um, uh, to the pavement and everything else survived on this build. The frame is still good. Uh, the motor still spin up, but the motor did not survive the crash. So the two millimeter shaft broke into two. And uh, I was seeing people on Facebook groups having that same issue. I don't know how hard their crash was, but this was a 30 to 50 foot crash. So I don't know if any motor would have survived it, but uh, I don't know how hard their crashes were to break this shaft. But I did have a few uh, crashes in this build and, uh, you know, the motor survived it. But uh, let me tell you what happened. Um, my, my video feed just blacked out. And ever since I switched from, you know, the Achilles uh, module to the rapid fire, some reason why uh, my HG3s are not giving me that, you know, voltage cell warning uh, beep when um, I'm hitting low voltage on my battery. So I usually run this 1300 with a battery cable and uh, uh, I forgot to change. I forgot to look at the voltage on this and um, it was running low on this 1300 and my video just blacked out just out of nowhere so it was kind of my fault but um yeah that's what happened and you know i lost video and i crashed so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and tell you how i feel about this motor so uh, i would recommend it over a 1204 uh, motor just because you get a little bit more flight time i found five to six minutes i was only getting about about four minutes on the 1204. Uh, the only thing that I don't like about this motor is that on uh, higher RPMs, it does uh, tend to sag your battery, but it'll jump right back up. So uh, at higher RPMs, uh, I found that maybe like over 50% or so, you know, the battery does tend to sag. And I was noticing that in the 1204 that I tested as well. So I'm not sure I wasn't having that problem with the 1105s, but I noticed on these 1204s and 1303s, I would see that battery sag at higher RPMs. But like I said, it jumps right back up and you'll get about five to six minutes of flight time uh, on these motors. So the motors run very, very smooth. They're very quiet. Uh, that's what I like the most about them. And uh, pretty much um, I'm pretty happy with this motor. You know, except for that crash, you know, like I said, I don't know, if, you know, if anything would have survived it, but uh, these other three motors are fine. Uh, it looks like all the impact was on, you know, this arm right here, uh, which caused the break. So uh, more to come. I have these, um, these 1303s, these are the FPV cycle, and uh, I'll be doing a little review on those and maybe comparing them to the... Uh, the Amax, these have a uh, 5,000 KV, so uh, they probably pretty much kind of feel the same. Um, as you can see here, I have the Nameless RC board, and um, yeah, this burnt up on me, so more about that. I'll be uh, doing a little review uh, coming back to this. I think I've had it for about a month or so, and I'll let y'all know how I feel about this uh, flight controller as well. So more to come, uh, FPV is life. And I'll see y'all guys on the next one. Out of here. We both have thoughts of leaving When thoughts get thrown around But we keep going on Believe
Oh, 